Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today I am bringing some news I think everybody's been waiting for a really long time and that is Volkswagen Group is joining Nax. Let's get into it. That's right everybody, if you haven't heard, Volkswagen Automotive Group is going to be adopting the North American charging standard, which means Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche, and Scout brand. Scout is coming. It's going to be their kind of like truck off-roady brand. Um, <clears throat> they will all have NAX built in 2025, which is a big deal. Everybody's been waiting for this. We all knew it was coming. It was just a matter of when. And what a better Christmas gift to all Volkswagen owners and Porsche and Audi. Sorry, I almost forgot for a second. Then guess what? In one year, you, well, about a little over one year, you'll have access to the Tesla supercharging network, which is going to be incredible. And now, in my opinion, it's going to help hopefully encourage a lot of people who don't drive EVs to drive EVs um, because at least with ID4 in my opinion it's one of the most approachable brands it looks like a normal car it drives really great um, the price is pretty good for for what you get compared to the rest of the um, the market and I just think that this is really good news for everybody I know that I am super excited uh, and in 2025, you better believe, we'll be charging on the uh, the Tesla supercharger network. Now, I have been really hard on Tesla because of a, a bunch of different reasons. Um, but I just think this is good because at least for me, the consumer, I now have access to all these chargers. And I, it really opens up a lot of places I can go without having charging anxiety if I go somewhere and um, Electrify America is not working or charge point's not working, then I can now go to a Tesla supercharger. Um, so that's just gonna, it's just gonna improve the EV experience for all EV drivers or potential EV drivers. And uh, I mean, I might not like Tesla, but I can get uh, behind that. And another really important factor is hopefully um, now that pretty much every brand of EV in, in the United States can charge at a supercharger, It'll, um, <clears throat> well, it has created competition with all the other um, uh, EV charging providers, and they either get it together or they go away. And hopefully, they get it together, and we have this awesome giant network of chargers that people can go to, and it helps prices be competitive and everything like that. And you know, hopefully, EV adoption picks up. I really hope that is the way things go. So just a couple specifics here, uh, and I just have the press release, press release opened up and I can provide that to you all. But basically, um, it says starting in 2025, um, Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche, Scout vehicles will have the port as standard. And then it also says uh, Volkswagen, Porsche, and Audi are exploring adapter solutions for existing vehicles to access the Tesla supercharger network starting in 2025. It's my understanding that Tesla is gonna make the adapters and they'll just sell those, but I thought that was kind of interesting. So I wonder if Volkswagen's gonna manufacture the adapters or uh, I'm not sure. Um, so it'll be interesting to see that as that develops. And then, um, yeah, just the, the standard 15,000 superchargers, which is, is gonna be really great. Um, the reason for doing it was, the, what, what did it say, yeah. Uh, it mean, would mean that customers of our fast-selling electric vehicles like the Volkswagen ID4 will have access to an extensive and growing charging network. So uh, good for them uh, for, for doing this and finally just letting it happen so now that we can move to Nax. Um, again, they're going to have to like re-engineer their cars because the Nax port works a little bit different than CCS, but that is not for any of us to worry about. That's for them to worry about. So... Um, now, this is going to happen 2025, Volkswagen ID4 owners will be able to use the supercharging network. What does that mean? Well, I have a bunch of videos where I've already used the Magic Dock, um, and that's a, and I also have another one where it's uh, etiquette for 
uh, for EV drivers at uh, Tesla Superchargers. And I highly recommend you check those out because of port location on some vehicles like the ID4, it is not conducive to using a Tesla Supercharger. So, um, as in Europe where they all have CCS2 they have to use, you know, eventually people just get used to it and they get over it and it is what it is. Um, but if people can, to the best of their, their ability, try and be respectful, park in the best spot, best location. Hopefully Tesla keeps rolling out locations um, that have um, a version four, which can reach both sides of the vehicle. And also locations where the um, charger is installed in a way that's conducive for all vehicles used to charge. That'll help um, reduce those issues that are going to arise. Uh, a Tesla vehicle is going to roll up and not be able to charge occasionally because a CCS vehicle like an ID4 had no choice but to park in a certain spot and use a certain charger that maybe they shouldn't have used. And we're all just kind of have to chill out and, you know, just figure it out and it's going to be okay. Um, most of the electric vehicles um, that are coming out in the future anyways are going to charge better um, on the network and not hold up people at the chargers. Obviously, we're still going to have the bolts and the other vehicles, but um, I think things will develop and it'll all be okay in the future. Uh, just another thing I wanted to bring up with this is that for like us, we have an ID4 already. Hopefully we'll have the 2024 ID4, but we're going to have to use an adapter. And I've just, and you can go check out all the discussions that uh, they've had on um, batteries included and with Kyle Connor and Tom Malogny and all of them about the, the, the adapters. But I am interested to see how they handle the safety of the adapters because eventually they wear over time, especially with DC fast charging. And I wonder how frequently are we going to have to replace um, the adapters when we charge? Um, and again, like, I guess we don't really supercharge that. Uh, uh, I guess it'll be called supercharging. We don't DC fast charge a lot. Um, so our adapter will last longer than others. But if you're like a regular fast charger, then, you know, you might have to buy an adapter more frequently. And they run like mid 200s. Um, and I don't think they're going to be free. So um, that'll be interesting to see how that develops uh, if they're able to make um, them more, uh, have better longevity or I, I don't know. I, I'd be interested to see how that goes. And maybe that's what Volkswagen was talking about when they were considering the um, different adapters. So that's it. That's the news. We can all finally accept that it's going to be the North American charging standard in the um, North America and let's help build EV adoption in the United States. Um, when people ask you about EVs, bring it up. Like, you know, in 2025, pretty much everybody is going to be able to charge anywhere and you're not going to have to worry about charging anxiety, which is the real issue that most EV drivers were facing. I guess are facing until this actually comes into existence. And lastly, just to note, I did see, uh, I think in February, Ford and GM will have access to the supercharging network. So that'll be exciting to see how that rollout goes. And then um, Tesla said they're going to slowly uh, bring more and more EVs into the fold. So that is all I had. I obviously put this together really quick. Um, I had a rehearsal and I got home from the rehearsal. My brother texted me like, hey, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to make a video really quick. So I hope you all found this helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If I know the answer, I'll answer as always. If not, I'll look into it as always and then provide you the answer. Thanks again for watching. I finally made it to 2,000 subscribers. So thank you all for subscribing. If you haven't already, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all next time.